Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we are diving into the exciting new world of Fedora Linux 42 Beta. A preview release that brings a host of improvements and fresh features to one of the most popular Linux distributions out there. Overview of Fedora Linux 42 Beta Fedora Linux 42 Beta is now available in several editions including Workstation, KDE Plasma Desktop, Server, IoT, Cloud and the Fedora Core OS Nextstream. This beta release is nearly feature complete and gives you a clear look at what to expect when the final version drops. It's an excellent opportunity for both enthusiasts and developers to test out new features and help shape the future of Fedora. Let's talk about the key features and highlights. Number 1. Fedora KDE Plasma Desktop Edition One of the most notable updates in the promotion of Fedora KDE Plasma Desktop to full edition status. This means we can expect a higher level of polish and stability. Additionally, there is now support for power systems which is PPC64LE along with the full KDE stack including KDE PIM ensuring a robust experience even on open power platforms like the Talos workstation. Number 2. Introducing Fedora Cosmic Spin Fedora 42 Beta introduces Fedora Cosmic Spin developed by System76. The spin features a Rust-based desktop environment that uniquely blends traditional desktop elements with tiling management. Its hybrid approach including per workspace window management and integrated tabbed window stacks offers extensive customization through GTK and in the future QT making it a fresh and modern take on desktop experience. Number 3 Revamped installation experience with Anaconda The Anaconda installer has received a major overhaul with a brand new web-based UI that now serves as the default for Fedora workstation. Users can enjoy a smoother installation process with features such as interactive progress indicator, built-in help and a configuration review step. Enhanced guided partitioning and a convenient reinstall Fedora option simplified tasks like dual boot setups and system recovery. Number 4. Updated developer tools and package management Beyond the desktop experience, Fedora Linux 42 Beta includes updates to key components. Python setup tools The latest upstream version enhances Python packaging workflow. DNF5 improvements New logic in DNF5 automatically cleans up expired repository keys, making software management more seamless. Ruby 3.4 The updated Ruby environment provides developers with improved features and stability, cementing Fedora as a robust development platform. Number 5. Additional enhancements for Fedora Workstation Other improvements include a smooth transition to SDL3 and a shift to Wayland by default for SDL applications. There is also an innovative GNOME well-being feature that aims to provide a more user-centric experience. So why test the beta? As with any beta release, Fedora Linux 42 is almost ready for prime time but may still have a few bugs or missing features. By testing the beta, you not only get an early look at all these exciting updates but also help the Fedora community fine-tune the final release. Reporting any issues you encounter will contribute directly to enhancing the experience for millions of Fedora users worldwide. Finally, the conclusion. Fedora Linux 42 Beta is a glimpse into the future of one of the most dynamic Linux distributions available today. Whether you are a developer, a tech enthusiast or a long-time Fedora user, this beta is a fantastic opportunity to explore new features and offers valuable feedback. Thank you for watching. If you found this overview helpful, please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe for more updates on Fedora and Linux in general, and share your thoughts or questions in the comments below. Happy testing and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.